true to his word, the chief coroner of Ontario brought his boating experts to Tyne and Egg. You helped us to think about some questions with the family about how the boat sank in 2015. And with those questions, I wanted to try to see if we could get a better understanding of what happened with the boat. The chief coroner promised he would do his own tests. After a year-long APTN investigation revealed two Mohawk fishermen couldn't have drowned the way police claim. So I've asked two experts, one a forensic engineer and one a naval architect, to work together and help to give some ideas about how the boat could have sank, how the boat got to the bottom of the water. Two previous police investigations reached the same conclusion. Tyler Miracle and Maddie Fairman overloaded their boat with stolen fish on the night of April 26, 2015, and the boat sunk flat to the bottom of the Bay of Quinty. Police told the families their boys must have drowned in the process, but the family said it never made sense. It's just awful, many sleepless nights, like the grieving, the nobody wants to help, you know? And I just said I was never gonna stop, and here I am today. A mother always knows, and it's because of Tammy Miracle's perseverance for the truth that the experts are here today. That's Eugene Leesho, the forensic engineer and a specialist in creating 3D models. He's taken various measurements of Tyler's 14-foot aluminum boat, along with Jamie Buckley, the naval architect. It's just looking at the boat and using their big, uh, where you can see the machinery, yeah. to capture all of the measurements. Oh, yeah. And then Eugene and Jamie put it into software, and they can do all kinds of testing on the computer. And then that will start our process. Because this isn't the end, like this is figuring things out step by step and then that will inform what we do next as to whether we come back and whether we go into the water. Cause we talked about Taking the boat back on the water is exactly what we did this past spring. First we put 1,100 pounds in the boat and tried to sink it. We pushed down on the sides. We rocked back and forth. We put all the weight at the front. Then we put the same size of motor the fishermen had and took it out on the water. We turned it sharply. We put 1,500 pounds in it and drove it into our wake. But it wouldn't sink like police said it did. So now the family waits on the coroner and his experts. I think they're going to find that something happened out there that night and that Tyler didn't sink his boat on his own. Someone did it. Someone did it. Kenneth Jackson, APTN National News, Tynanaga, Ontario.